Hello my lovelies, welcome to my 31 days of Halloween nail art. This year's entire series is going to be a collaboration with Katie from Hot Pink Zebra Polish. And for today's tutorial we are doing Medusa. Katie's video will be linked down below in my description box so be sure to check out her video as well. But in the meantime let's get started on today's design. Start by using Ugly Ducklings color number 128 to paint a layer of color on your nails. Be sure to cure that in your LED light for one minute before you apply matte top coat. Once you've applied your matte top coat, cure that again for another minute and then you can move on to the next step. Now we can use Le Chat's bare skin to start our 3D Medusa work. Use a bead and place it roughly in the middle of the nail to build her neck. Once that's dried, you can then use another bead to start building up and sketching out where her head is going to be. This layer is going to be flat initially because as each layer dries, we're going to add and build onto the previous one to help give Medusa her 3D look. So little by little, add acrylic to the face starting to build up features for Medusa. Be sure to work drier than usual so your beads don't run down and then you lose the shape of what you're trying to create. Once you have rough placement of where all features will be sitting, go back in with some white acrylic and place small beads in the eye sockets so you can give Medusa her eyes. 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 Begin to build up around the eyes by adding brow bones using the same nude coloured acrylic. Next we can move on to building the nose. This bead in particular needs to be extra dry so you can maintain the 3D structure of the nose. Continue building up the forehead so this little Medusa comes to life. Using the tiniest amount of red acrylic sculpt out her lips and then use Lechat's palm leaf and laser beam and Cooper's woodland creature to marble in some background for her hair. Now use those three colours and sculpt out long skinny lines of acrylic. Pat them into place so they remain long and skinny and just before they dry you're going to pick up each one individually and place it in as Medusa's hair. <laughs> According to Greek mythology, Medusa had an affair with Poseidon. This angered and furied the goddess Athena and she turned her into a hag, making her hair snakes. Thereafter, anybody who stared into her eyes would turn into stone. Perseus was then ordered to go and murder her. He beheaded her and even with her head unattached from her body, she still had the power to turn people into stone if they gazed into her eyes. Perseus gave the beheaded Medusa to the goddess Athena where she placed it on her shield. And that is why we have done a beheaded Medusa. <laughs> now begin to add some details to Medusa by using coloured paints. Be sure to emphasise her beheaded head by adding red veins and blood at the bottom part of her neck. Finish off by adding eyes to all the snakes and then this set will be ready for reveal. And here is my completed Medusa Halloween nail. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this. Also, don't forget to go check out Katie's version of Medusa. I've left the link for her video down below in my description box. 
and that is it for today's tutorial be sure to join us again tomorrow to catch day four of our 31 days of halloween nail art and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes we put out during the series of ours in the meantime black kitty here recommends you watch this video next while well, i recommend this one which one will you choose i'll see you tomorrow bye <laughs>